Hello and welcome to episode 72 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you my latest version of my dashboard filter. Now, um, I created this filter as the opening filter for my uh, whenever I open Todoist on my desktop or laptop, this is what I would see. Now, basically, uh, in a nutshell, if you like, I have my inbox at the top, and here I have one item in my inbox, a Mac Power users that I want to listen to. Then I have my Today View, and if those of you who are familiar with my videos, I use the flag system to denote the time of day that I need to do the tasks. So red tasks or priority one tasks are things that absolutely must be done today without fail. Uh, orange tasks are my morning tasks. Yellow tasks denote an afternoon task and white tasks or P4 tasks denote an evening task. Now, uh, if I show you in my filters, this means that particularly when I'm on my mobile devices rather than my desktop, um, I can actually filter out the things that are not necessary to see at that particular time of day. So, for example, my AM tasks, I can just see the things that absolutely must be done today plus AM tasks. PM tasks would include the after the morning tasks, of course, and my absolutely must be done today tasks, and then my afternoon tasks. And of course, I don't need to have a evening filter because that just be the today filter because that would include everything. Um, but what I'm doing here is I've created this uh, dashboard filter because I use my computer to do my daily mini review. So uh, at the end of the evening, when I'm do tidying up and finishing off my tasks, I can come in to see my waiting for list, which is in my dashboard now. Uh, at the moment, I only have two items. I'm waiting to hear back from Uphone and I ordered some jeans on the 11th of September and I'm just waiting for them to arrive. They're due to arrive tomorrow, so that would then get checked off. Um, now, to create this, uh, you need to go into filters, but um, what I've done here is I've got my old dashboard here, which is only um, uh, inbox, which is at the bottom, and my today but I've added this waiting for folder because I realize that's very important, but I've put it up in the ho the opening screen, which to get to get back to, you click on the Todoist logo icon, icon up at the top here. Now, to create that, what you need to do is to go into your Todoist settings, and at the top you have start page, and I've created a custom query. And as you can see here, my custom query is, and let me see if I can just Yes, I can go into a bit bigger in there for you. Uh, P inbox, comma, overdue, comma, today, comma, and then at waiting for. Now, I should point out, the order that you write this is the order it will show on the screen. So, as you know, in my version that I showed you a moment ago is my inbox is up at the top. Uh, my overdue and today are next. But if I had any overdue tasks, they would come at the top as well. So, they would come under unbox inbox and then my today view and then my at waiting for filter so remember you need to go into the settings and where it says start page that's where you would enter your own uh, code for the start page okay so I hope that has given you some you guys some inspiration as I say this is fantastic because what it does is as I've progressed through my list for the day uh, the waiting for will come up to the top so at the end of the day when I do my daily mini review and do, cleaning up my tasks for the day the waiting for list will then be showing in my screen which is perfect for me. Now, for some of you, you may want to see your waiting for things up at the top, which is great. All you need to do is just change the order and put that before overdue and today. Um, but you have quite a bit of flexibility of how you set that up. And as I say, all you need to do is to go into settings and up at the top in your settings feature, you've got start page and you create a custom query. Uh, you can actually, if you click on this, you can actually uh, create start your projects from your work list for anything you like but I'm using the custom query inbox overdue today and then waiting for as I say entirely up to you how you organize this uh, this is just the way I like to do it you guys can do it however way you like to do it great so hopefully that's given you some inspiration 
Uh, don't forget to join me again in for episode 73, where I hope to be able to show you all the new features in um, Mac OS. Yes, it's called Mac OS Sierra now uh, because Sierra comes out on Tuesday or Wednesday over here. So next week I will show you uh, the new features in uh, Sierra. OK, so that just remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week and I will see you in the next episode.